Manchester City and Manchester United? Oof. I, I think United have to be careful. I think this could get really dangerous for them um, because on paper for me it's lopsided. It's lopsided. I, I, when you look at what United are, yes, they're in eighth place. They're a collection of individuals. I, I don't think that there's a there's a purpose in a plan. Now that, that Ten Hag might mm -hmm. say I'm wrong about that. He has a purpose, in, but we, we're not seeing that identity come out, and we haven't seen that identity come out. We we see a team that doesn't really have a pressing presence, um, and a and a, and a patchwork back line, right? Which is yeah. all scary to think about when you look at City and Pep. Pep has this incredible way of reinventing his teams. He goes from not wanting a striker, so he plays a false nine. Then he gets an he gets an out and out nine with Holland, right? That works. Then all of a sudden, probably by design, he's now playing almost with two strikers because Alvarez is finding all this space in and around Holland. And and you think as good as Holland is, Alvarez has been just as good this season. And so he has this way of finding new tricks to figure out to, how to motivate his team. And, and the derby could be dangerous for United. Yeah, I, I, I agree with the way that Manchester United set up. I think one of the things they can't afford to do in this game, and they've, they've been guilty of it all season at home, they can't afford to be slow starters. They can't afford to concede that first goal. I was, like Tim said, it could get very messy. I think what they've got to do, as much as the fans will want them to be on the front foot, as much as the fans will want them to start really, really fast, they have to be mindful, they have to be disciplined, and I think at times they're going to have to play like the away team. Because mm. if they take the game to Manchester City... Manchester United are at their most vulnerable in the turnover. Yeah. We've seen that time and time again. We saw it with Nottingham Forest in particular. We saw it, um, I think, with Brentford, with Brighton. You can't do that against Manchester City. So the game plan has to be, first and foremost, keep defensively strong and then potentially try and use the pace that they've got going forward. Dan Danny mentioned a key word there, discipline, right? He and I have both played at Old Trafford. It's nearly impossible yeah. for United to play like that. You're right. They should play like the away team. It's nearly impossible. Mm -hmm. That crowd's going to be right up for it. They're going to want them to be gung-ho and go for it. Here's the problem. The way that City press and the way that they set traps, if United are ill-disciplined and think, okay, we have to play through this, and they try and be a bit individual and drop a shoulder and the turnovers happen, you said they're vulnerable in the turnover. If they're not disciplined in those moments, they could really pay the price. Mm -hmm. And how, how can United get Marcus Rashford going? Because that really hasn't <sighs> happened yet. I, I think it's, you know, I, I think what you'll see with, with Manchester United, they'll, they'll be a little bit more direct at home. Maybe go to Hoyland and then maybe get Rashford playing off him because that, that's going to be the best way for them to get anything from Manchester City, even though they're at home. And I agree with what Tim's saying. The fact that the fans will want them to go forward, but they've just got to sit back a bit. Manchester Derby, one of the many things to look forward to coming up with this Premier League weekend. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.